I did the first couple of pieces I ever painted sitting with the canvases against the back of the sofa, sitting on the floor painting, um, and making sure that I, tried, I didn't drop oil paint all over the floor, which I did on a regular basis. I just paint generally um, whatever comes into my head in the morning. I do this art retreat with my friend Geordie and a, an artist called Tony, who's brilliant. And I was painting and he just came along and told me I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> and um, said to me, you need to start using different colours. And he was right, and I don't know how he knew that. Now I paint every single painting with a cobalt violet, white, blue steel, which is amazing, vivid turquoise, a cabin in yellow, a cabin in red, and a black. And then I paint everything. Okay. When you um, see a dried oil painting, you get the um, shine on it of, of the different brush strokes. And so I used a palette knife because I wanted to create something really tactile. When people looked at it, they could see the light bouncing off the, the palette strokes. And they, if they, you know, I wanted them to feel like they wanted to touch it. And um, although it's colour, they can still feel and see something in it. I just wanted to get more paint on. I think that's because like, I brushes just didn't get the paint on thick enough. Since I started painting, I've never thought, what the hell are you doing? You're an idiot. What makes you think that you can paint and anyone's going to be interested or buy anything you do? And that's happened just twice fleetingly. And the rest of the time, I just, I don't know why. And it's really weird. I absolutely think that that's what I'm meant to do. So it doesn't matter whether I paint, whatever I paint, it just feels like that's what I should be doing. So it's, it's quite easy to be motivated because I don't feel like I've got any other option and don't want any other option. <laughs> <laughs>